Yeah, maybe it's time. The redemption of Willie. Definitely bribery. Did you see the doctor about your thumb? I did, but I don't want to like make my whole brand going off on the medical industry. So I saw the doctor about my thumb. He, he said, uh, what brings you to the clinic today? I said, I, I smashed my thumb in the back door two months ago and now the bottom half of my nail has fallen off and half of the top half that's still attached is dead. And I don't know if this is just, like I, I my pet theory is insane. So I, it might not be true. But I was thinking about what he said right after that. Like after I left the clinic. Because what he said right after that was, so what do you want out of this appointment? Which seemed to me to be an insane question for the doctor to ask a patient. Because the reason I went to him was to, like for you to tell me basically what the best, like do I need to do anything? But I think that actually maybe what he thought is that I was using this um, injury as like, uh, hey, can you give me like some Percocet or something like that, which was not the case. Then I said, um, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I guess maybe a referral to a dermatologist. And he said, okay, I can do that, but it might be six months till they call you. And I said, okay. And then he's like, okay, is there any dermatologist you want to go see in particular? And I said, no. But in my head, I was like, if I knew a dermatologist, my ass wouldn't be here right now. Please. Bro, it's, it's free. Oh, it's free! It's free! Um, so he said, okay, someone will probably call you in the next six months. But in all likelihood, your thumbnail will like have grown back by then. And I said, okay, thank you for your time. But what I was thinking in my head was, I guess I'll just go fuck myself then. I would describe it as not a, a fantastic experience at the, at, the, at the doctor's office. It wasn't my family doctor, to be fair. My family doctor, next time I go in there, I'm, I'm trying to save it for something serious because I know that she's going to be like doting on me. Because after the Salmonella Campylobacter stuff, she, she was like, you really should have just lied to the front desk and told us that you were, like, gonna die. It's like, oh, I forgot about that part of the medical industry. The part where instead of being truthful about your symptoms, you exaggerate them as much as possible because it's the only way to get some, you know, medical care. Hey, can you, can you give me the puck? Okay. I, I can't score a goal. This team's got no offense. Willy, Willy. Well, I, listen. Someone said you, he gave you what you asked for. Why are you upset? Because I'm not a doctor. Like, I feel like it's kind of fucked up for a doctor to be like, what do you want out of this appointment? What, what is he, does he want me to answer condescendingly? I want you to use your 27 years of uh, education to tell me what, the, like, what I should do because I'm just an idiot in the first place. Like, I'm, I'm the person who smashed my thumb into the back door. So what I want you to do is, you know, because you're going to build the province, like, $200 for this 15-second long appointment, I want you to do your job and, like, tell me if I should just wait for it to grow back or, like... Or if I'm, like, being a baby for being here in the first place or, like, can you just, like... the uh, numb my thumb with some sedative and then like take the nail off uh, will it grow back normally is there any damage to like my nail bed that's a goal i can't i can't score i can't score let's get some cycles running here just it's chaos it's chaos lean into the chaos lean into the chaos did you ask any questions? Or did you tell them what happened? What do you mean I ask any questions? I'm not the doctor! Excuse me, I, th I thought the doctors hated when they, uh, their patients diagnosed themselves on WebMD. I didn't know that's the way that it's supposed to be done now. Shouldn't they be asking me questions? He did ask me if there's any pain, to which I said no. But again, you know, it's just because I'm an idiot. Like, I should have just said yes. 
And then he would have been like, oh shit. Here's some Percocet. <laughs> Like, I'm supposed to go in there now and be like, hey, I think I've damaged my nail matrix. And then he's going to be like, you know, oh, okay. Let me fix that for you, Morpheus. Yeah, okay. You, Willie Bree, he needs, he needs some economy to get going. It's not a failed campaign. It's like Hitman style. We just get no reward. Camp me. 10 to shot accuracy is actually pretty huge. It couldn't be that I'm aiming badly. I mean, the nail, like, it, the only thing about it is that it looks gross. So it's not that big of a deal. Show us? No, I showed it like the last Friday and people said, I'm going to throw up, put it away. I'm starting to think that doctors are a scam. Now just hear me out here <laughs> before, you, before you, you cancel me, okay? My team. My brother-in-law is a doctor. I had a bandage on my thumb when I was there over the holidays. Um, my sister-in-law said, you should have uh, my husband take a look at it. And I said, no, that's okay. And she said, it's okay, he's a medical doctor. And I said, I know. So I showed him the thumb. He looked at it and he said, yeah, I would just keep an eye on it. Which I understand that that's like, maybe in a lot of circumstances, that's like the right prognosis. But like, I also didn't need him to to tell me that it's like a, that's I, it, business as usual right like that's how i was already setting it up that's, that was already my modus operandi and then I, I went to this other doctor and he was basically like why are you wasting my time here i thought we scored a goal i, I thought that the we dreamed the impossible dream That's a goal. Willie cannot score. It's it's not it's not in his. It, well, you know what? He probably just signed a big contract. He's getting a little lazy. That's in the net. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. And like, I have been waiting and seeing, but it is not really like healing on its own. Like the first wait and see, I still had my entire nail. That's in. Ooh. And now like half of it has fallen off and the other half is still attached. It's like I waited and I saw half of the nail fall off and they're like, yeah, just wait and see. I don't think like my thumb's gonna fall off, but could you, I don't know, like is there, <laughs> is there a thumb doctor? Did you tell that part to the doctor? Bro, I showed him my nail! I said half of it fell off, and he said, let me see. Oop, that's it. And then he said, what do you want me to do about it? It's madness out here. I might be, I, I go see a plastic surgeon. I, 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 I could honestly, I'm getting that little like, Ooh, visa uh, wrinkle in my forehead, like the kind of line on my forehead you could swipe a credit card through. Maybe they could give me a new thumbnail. I don't care if it's silicone or if it's like saline. Either one's fine. And, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Good save. While I'm at it, give me a little Botox. And you know what? I might just have my nose done while I'm in there too. Saved. Maybe get a Brazilian butt lift.
Okay, Willie should not be taking all the shots. Willie should be camping at the net looking for a rebound. Great hit. <laughs> good save, good save, good save to cover that puck. I'm on Team Doctor too. I just feel like I've gotten substandard care lately. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very pro my internist who I still believe in some ways might have actually saved my life or at least it contributed to a higher quality of life for me when I had the, the foodborne illness. She's a hero as far as I'm concerned. I'll never forget her, although I don't remember her name. <laughs> but to be fair, I only saw her for like, you know, 10 minutes and she was like, whoa, this isn't good. And I was like, thank you, thank you. That's what I've been saying. She did not say, let's keep an eye on it, thankfully. She was like, we're going to keep an eye on it. And I was, I wanted to cry. I was like, that's all I've ever wanted. We almost had a goalie goal. We almost had a goalie assist, which is also somewhat rare, though not even close to as rare as a Willy Bree goal. He's done it. Willie Bree, Willie score. So true. Just hope we, they, they could still score two goals once you factor in injury time. That's a soccer joke. You probably knew that. Okay, Willie, heavily onside. Don't even bother challenging. 15 seconds, it's over. It's not over, Gravy. Never should have given him a chance. Just, what, you tripped him just so you could get the, the primary assist? I respect it, I respect it. That's, that's cheesy gameplay. Yeah, I don't know, I was just, I felt kind of condescended to. I don't necessarily expect doctors to have great bedside manner in all circumstances because they spent those clutch, you know, years when they should have been developing empathy for their fellow man, um, you know, being forced to study 16 hours a day. Let me, let me give passes, give a speed boost and put this on a defender. Oh, it's shot. You're right. It's shot power. Dude, then we should put it on McShaggy. Or Bree. You're right, it is not speed boost. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Let me think. We should put it on McShaggy. Bree seems to be shooting the most. I'll take a bouncy puck. I'm mostly just being condescending because I felt like I was condescended to. But a doctor looking you in the face and saying, what do you want me to do about it? Or like, <laughs> wait, he, he didn't say that. He said, what's your goal from this appointment today? I understand that maybe like, you know, two times a day he gets people that are misrepresenting injuries in order to try to get n narcotics or something like that, but like my ass is, I'm just a guy. That's a normal question? Why don't you tell me what I should be getting out of this? If, if I came in and was like, oh, I've been feeling like really tired and weak lately, and he's like, what do you want to get out of this appointment? I'd be like, I don't know, can you run like some diagnostics or something? Like, am I... Am I your professor? Like, shouldn't you know what I want to get out of this appointment? I want to know what's wrong with me. I want to raise my, my Valorant KDR so I can make it up to Gold League. I want a toilet made of solid gold, but some things just aren't in the cards, baby. Okay, and then back to Willy because he gets a shot power bonus. Huge, huge. Okay, set him up. Knock him down. You take what you get on that one. Willie, go, Willie, wait, wait, you're skating backwards. You haven't even caught up to the man yet and you're skating backwards? What's wrong with you? Surprised. Surprised it didn't go in. 
Well, okay. Okay, you got him confused, that's for sure. You got me confused too, honestly. Okay, Willie just had the puck stripped from him. Embarrassing. Holy cow. Willie's, Willie's too good. He's going to get past him. Oh, great. You got to hand it to them. You know, this vintage Mark Edward Vlasic there. Do something. Okay, Willie is... He's in the zone. He's in Gretzky's office. Help. I can't lose to Willie when I have Willie. Because that means it's me. That means I'm the problem. Is Gretzky a doctor? Honestly, if Gretzky was a doctor... I was going to say I bet he'd pro provide a higher standard of care, but I bet he wouldn't, now that I think about it. I mean, why would he? He's the best NHL player of all time! Three, two seconds, no shot. No shot. He would check you and say, get up. Wayne Gretzky, was a, he's a skilled player. I'm not saying he couldn't throw the body now and then, but that wasn't his specialty, okay? I'm just happy to be tied, honestly. Make it. Make, oh, Willie, push to the outside. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, good try, good try. I'm going to give you some credit for your attempt there. And then you're sprung. Really? Mash it. I have no defense, and I must scream. Okay, Willie's put up a solid game here. You got to give him some credit. He's not scoring, but he's getting to the net. He's getting to the dirty areas. Temporary shot power boost. What the hell was that? Okay. We got to get ready. Handle this guy. Engage in a little bit of interference. Dude, actually, that would... If someone asked... What rule would I change in the NHL? I would make it so interference isn't a penalty anymore. For anybody that doesn't know, interference is uh, if somebody's not carrying the puck, you can't make contact with them, essentially, or otherwise impede them. Imagine how much fun the NHL would be if people were just lighting each other up. It wouldn't be fun for the players, but, you know, they're rich. Get some physio. Oh. And we're dominating this game. Don't, don't, at least take it to overtime. At least clog up the passing lane, dude. Okay, he's free. Oh. <laughs> overtime. I'm convinced you would love the Colosseum if you lived in ancient Rome. I mean, the thing is, when you're the winner, the Colosseum is a great place to be. My willy's better. Ooh. I don't know, here's my thing. I, if the Colosseum came back now, I wouldn't be into it. I don't even like watching MMA because like watching a dude have no oxygen supplied to his brain for like 90 seconds until he goes like this and then the referee's like, let's call it, let's call it, call it, call it. I know you've been on top of him for two and a half minutes, Brock Lesnar, but get off immediately. He's done. He's done. So, but if I was raised in, you know, ancient Rome, I don't know, my ass might be like bored. I might be like, oh, holy shit, it's the Coliseum this weekend. Even more shot accuracy. Is an injury worse in hockey? Worse than the Coliseum? They were feeding people to like lions and stuff. <laughs> you see Gladiator? That person got chopped in half by a chariot.
There's been some bad injuries in hockey. I mean, like, some people have had their throats slashed by skates. Some people have had their wrists slashed by skates. You know what would be a great sketch, though? Is, like, Romans at the Colosseum. Um, but they're, like, just complaining about things that people complain about now when they go to sporting events. They're like, oh, my God. 17 obols for a, a goblet of wine? This is highway robbery. I know, and some I got some garum as well. Oh, can you believe? I could get garum two for one garum. Two garums for one obol back home. Here they want me to pay four obols per garum? That's crazy. Well, yeah, but somebody's got to pay Spartacus's salary. Oh, and the, the, the on-sand product isn't even any... Yeah, that should be it. The on-sand product isn't even any good this year. Like last year they had lions. Lions. This year, birds? Two years ago, my buddy was telling me they filled the Colosseum with water and simulated the Battle of Salamis. This year, what do we get? Oh, two dudes fighting each other with spears. Okay. I mean, sure, like they did their best, but at the same time, it was no Battle of Salamis. Oh, no. It could work. This is You come up with the concept, and then that's the, the writer's room does the hard work. Took a chance, huh? And they're like, I'm never coming to the Coliseum again. Catch him next year. Holy shit, I'm so excited. Coliseum season starts. Oh! Coliseum season starts in two weeks. What? For what? On what grounds? That was a clean goal. And the face-offs in my zone? What a scam, dude. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, you know what? We just got to be that much better. We're not just playing against the other team. We're playing against the refs, too. The same way that literally everybody in the NHL thinks that their team is... Uh, uniquely preyed upon by the referees must be nice to be an arizona coyotes fan and gary bettman is constantly issuing live memos saying please give the tampa bay lightning two extra penalties this period what kind of uh Hockey watcher are you? If you're a hockey watcher, I'll tag myself. I am the guy who, um, every time there's a penalty, says he should be in prison. Willie's redemption. Every time they announce uh, Tyler Myers, two minutes for high sticking, I say two minutes. Should be 25 to life. No, 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 it's a no goal. It's a no goal. It's a no goal. It's a no goal. Come on. Boo this man. Stop it. Freeze it. Freeze it. Freeze it. This one's driving me crazy, man. Okay, stop the bleeding. Good stuff. You lay the body on the line. Okay, we got two periods to go. Good call, ref. Good call. Come on. I will say, I know I've said it before, my favorite genre of, of hockey fan is the, the guys in the stands who obviously played when they were younger. And they don't care about the score of the game at all. All they do is call out when something should have been a penalty, but it was not called. 
that's fucking... That's obstruction? Oh, that's cross-checking for sure. Dude, that's def... Dude, that's... Ref, what are you doing? That not being in is a crime of the future. Not today. I'm sprung. Oh, William Bree. Is that not you? No, I never. I didn't play enough hockey for that. I only had three days of hockey school, then I got jock itch. Um, but I am the guy. I, I take some pride in knowing what the penalty was before it gets announced. That's that's as much bravado as I can bring. He stole my pass and my temporary shot power bonus. Like, I'll see something happen on the ice. The ref shoots up his arm, and I'm, like, tripping. And then they're like, Tyler Myers, two minutes for hooking. And I'm like, I fucking knew it. <laughs> Same shit. It's all good. I mean, they had a goal that wasn't a goal. They had a, uh, we had a goal that was counted not as a goal. It's a scam, man. I went to a Carolina game and saw a 10 minute penalty with no man advantage. See, the thing is, there's a 10 minute misconduct. It's different from a 10 minute penalty for reasons that someone will eventually explain to me. Literally kept us in it! Great deke, Willie. Look at this saucer pass, too. Ooh. It's only period two, right? Yeah, because I'm going down. I'm shooting lower. Great hit. Keep him busy. Feed him shit and keep him in the dock. Great save. We're going to need some of those if we're going to make this work. Spring him. Send them. Horrible play on my part. 38 seconds. Let's have some strong defense. If we can go into the if we can go into the next period only being down by one, that would be acceptable to me. You've hit my own player. But Willie's Willie's free. S stay on him, stay on. <laughs> I'm in! I'm not in, but Willie's in. Good try, good try. I tried to tuck it short side. Freeze. Ooh, he's, he's sprung. He sprung Willie! <laughs> Embarrassingly invested right now. Sorry, four seconds. They're in their zone. Oh, what a two line pass. Out shooting them 15 to 9. Favorite retro jersey? Um, there's a lot. Like, I feel like for a while, it was easy to be like, you know, super into the Canucks black skate jersey. But they kind of, they brought it back now. It's not a, a secret anymore. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. <laughs> um, I, I do like everybody else. I like the, the Anaheim... Ducks, like Mighty Ducks style jerseys from the 90s. The Coyotes Kachina, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, is, is, is beautiful. This is Willie's. It's Willie's, it's Willie's. I do, I love the 90s Panthers jerseys too, for sure. The one that, and, and I'm not anti, you know, any team really in the NHL so don't, if you're a fan of the Los Angeles Kings don't take this as like um, I'm uniquely like insulting your team the team with the widest gulf between like current jersey quality and old jersey quality for maybe it's Anaheim but I feel like LA's current logo is uninspiring the LA purples with the crown is awesome. And admittedly, like I'm gonna have a bias because this is when I started watching hockey, but the the black and silver LA Kings jerseys from the 90s as well. I mean, it, 
they gotta do. They gotta. I guess they gotta keep their current branding for a bit because this is the branding that they won the Stanley Cups with. So it's gonna like. They're building a new nostalgia right now, but still. I like I like the Islanders fisherman jersey. I do. Reminds me of going to McDonald's in like 1997. Who would have thought? This is not McShaggy, by the way. I don't know who it is, but. Okay. Tight game for 39 seconds. Unless, unless Willie! I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Look, they, they can't even get out of their own zone. Would anyone like to hit the puck carrier? Beautiful steal. Take him up, give it to Willie. Pass it back. I I don't believe I don't I actually don't believe it. It's a very hard thing for me to believe that that did not go into the net. It's overtime, baby. We fought with everything we had. They had one goal that shouldn't have counted. We had one goal that should have counted. And yet here we are tied up. I mean, I guess we do have a referee on our side that's hitting them, but that's only fair. Oh. It's all right, maintain possession. This cheeky little uh, point shot. Don't, don't use that one too much anymore. Oh no, my defense. Great save. Plus you sent it up in the air. Killed some time so my players could get back up. Willie, the cheeky little Mikhaev. Oh, did you accomplish nothing on the play? Oh, but he's free. I'm not using Willie's magnetizing ability correctly. Like every time I take a shot, what happened? I take a shot with him and then like the magnetize keeps his shot out of the net. You actually got an icing call? I didn't know that was a thing that existed in this game. What am I doing? Do throw some hits. Beautiful steal. He's in. I gotta give him props for the attempt. My, <laughs> I was hoping my goalie would reach out and cover it. Ooh, 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 spring him. These are not my stars. Back to the point. We got Willie on the point. Okay, cycle, cycle. What was that? What just happened? <laughs> That was an insane wraparound attempt. I'm embarrassed I didn't get to do it. Oh, okay, stay on him. Just cut down his angle. Insane positional defense. Okay, and followed by the worst pass in history. Sorry, we stay on those angles. Beautiful, we got speed around the boards. It's a little give and go. A little give, a little give and go, a little give and it's gone. It's gone. Anybody seen McShaggy lately? There he is. Oh, what happens now, man? Double OT or do we just lose? Double OT. <laughs> Boys are getting tired out there, eating orange slices in between the periods, Ooh. chugging bio steel. Okay, take it to Gretzky's office. You're doing great, pulling the defense out of position. Take him back to Gretzky's office. They're getting tired out there. There's no shift changes. Probably the worst shot you could take in that situation, just into a pile of bodies directly. But you know what? Great recovery. 
They're clogging up the front of the net, dude. Oh, it was good deflection, good deflection. We're playing chaos ball. Little chaos ball, little chaos ball. Little, little willy ball. Oh. They're scared. Look at how they're playing defense and tell me they're not scared. Number three backwards. What was the pass? What have you done? It's a two on one. And yet, we persevere. Willie's not open. He's, he's open. He's not open. He's not open. Gretzky's office. Skate backwards. Get killed. I really got to hand it to my team. They're, they're, they're playing above their weight class right now. Little give and go and go and go and go. And we had it on his stick. He had the win on his stick. That's, he got caught looking. Good bump. Good. Oh, he's in. Okay. He beat the goalie but didn't beat physics. Beautiful. Okay, just skate him in. There's no offsides. That's perfect. That's fine. He's got to cover it. He's out of the trapezoid. That's a delay of game penalty if I've ever seen one. I don't even know why I'm trying to win the faceoff at this point. And we're sprung. We got a three on two. We passed it to nobody. That's a pass to ourselves. I'll keep passing on my own by Robin. Bad possession ball. Defense is pinching for no reason. Come back, come back. Shadow him. Who sprung? Nobody sprung. <laughs> Triple OT? I mean, this is a, a postseason classic at this point. The Willie is well known. Willie has some of the best conditioning in the league. So the longer a game goes on, honestly, like the more it benefits him. That's not fair. You shouldn't be able to use your face to block a shot. Number three has been on point all game. That's right, you just gotta, you, you take the, the shooter, you let them take the, the breakaway on the goalie. Okay, he's in. Point blank slap shot. What was I thinking? He's a skill player. It's not a power forward. In, dude, my defense is insane now. Do something. That's something. That's less, less good. They're a mess. They're not a mess. They're in. They're not in. They're a mess. Willie, do it. Do it. Do it. Stay on the outside. Skill plays. Oh, I was trying to go backhand. Let's try to do a little forehand backhand. Charlie Conway. McShaggy. No. Willie. Willie. To you. And back to Willie. Oh, why wouldn't you move towards the net, you idiot? <laughs> Huge face-off win. Okay. Little cheeky one. Referees keeping the defense busy. I appreciate that. Oh! <laughs> Angus! No, 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 no. Don't skate backwards here. Never mind. Amazing poke check. I'm not going to tell the pros how to live their lives. And this game tightened up, man. That's offside. I was puck chasing. Got a little lucky. <laughs> it's, it, it's the thing is like, you know, at first you think this overtime, it, it should be over in like 20 seconds. The longer it goes without a goal, the more likely it is to go without a goal forever because they're getting so tired. I am hoping they just win it into their own net at some point. Oh! It happened! Look at this. This bat out of the air. 
please in slow mo. Ooh. He did it. Also, I don't know if he was playing defense. My defensemen were doing incredible work. I can't believe it. We we won the hard campaign. <laughs> we won the demo of the hard campaign and unlocked Cam Amber, also known as Patrick Line. Choose an artifact. I'll boost my team in a second, but then they're gonna be like <gasps> Kingsland? No, they tease you. They tease you, right? I knew it. I knew it. From now on, the game's going to be on hard mode. It was already on hard mode, man. It was already on hard mode. All right, let me 